Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I um, hope you guys are having a great week. Today's video is gonna be one um, that's more in line with uh, some of the videos that I love watching on YouTube. I love watching luxury videos and luxury reviews or a luxury haul just to see people's collection of things. Um, so I just celebrated my birthday and I bought myself something. So not only am I going to do a small other good wallet collection review or haul, but I'm also going to be doing a um, opening of something that I ordered myself for my birthday. I've kind of organized everything into the designer or the brand, or they're not all luxury products, but I enjoy this type of stuff. Again, if this isn't for you, I totally get it. There is a small community on YouTube that just loves this type of stuff and dives in. So the first um, few pieces that I have, it is a brand that gets a lot of heat in the industry, especially uh, luxury industry. Some people would not even consider it being luxury, um, but I used to work for them and I love their craftsmanship. I love the leather quality and um, I used to love my discount. Um, and I just love um, the price point that you can usually get their products at. But that is Coach. Um, so the first product that I have is this blue um, card holder. This is probably nine years old at this point. I love it. I love how it's worn. I just love how it's weathered. Honestly, don't use it anymore. Um, but I just love the color and I keep it because it's like a keepsake. I bought this when I worked there. Um, I have a few pieces that I bought from when I worked there. Um, that I can't get rid of just because I love um, the memory of it. Um, but I don't love money clips like this anymore. I love card holders, but I don't love money clips like this. I would probably use it more if it just didn't have this piece. But I love the color, I love how it's worn, and I just love the memory behind it. I have this wallet. It is a, another red coach wallet, it's a bifold. Um, I used to really strictly purchase bifolds because it just was something that I was used to wearing. I probably bought this right when I was leaving Coach. I love how it takes care of the cards. Some of my bifolds would, um, they would kind of break the cards as I would sit on them or they would um, just kind of wear them out. Um, this one was really protective over all the cards that I had. I stopped wearing it when I started seeing some damage right here. Again, I love how this color started to weather and I just have kept it again for a memory's sake. This next piece defines like my era of working at Coach. It was a limited piece that you could only purchase online. Um, and even with working at the store, I had to purchase online, get my discount through a manager who helped me purchase. But I loved the color. It was called Cognac, which at the time I was like 18 or 19 and had no idea what Cognac was. And I just thought it was so luxurious in my mind. So we would get um, bonuses that were coach bucks. You would have to use it with your discount and you had to use it at a certain point. So I did not pay anything for this wallet. and. Because of that, I love it even more. So I will never get rid of this wallet, um, but this is it. It has this like, it's not classic, but it's classic as far as that era that this was in. I love when you open it. <laughs> if this doesn't define the era of where I was in my life, um, my Starbucks gold card, which is also fairly worn in as well. It's slightly worn on the corners. I love this wallet. I will still throw this into rotation just because I love it so much. The next one I have is this brown leather wallet. I bought it from Coach Outlet in San Marcos. Bifold plain wallet. I only bought this because I kept looking at my collection and I was like, I don't have enough brown. I have all these different colors. I had black at the time, um, but I had nothing brown. And I don't know, in my mind, I thought you need a brown wallet. So I bought this on a really good sell and I, I don't like it. I, I could probably get rid of this today and just be fine. Um, it's really tight on my cards because it's like a, a slimmer bifold, um, but it's really tight on my cards. And um, after a while, some of my cards would rip at the uh, swipe seam. I stopped using this unless I was just going to put like three or four cards and throw it in a bag. But at that point, I would rather use a card holder because this is, thicker, so why would I do that? I do like the color. I would probably get another wallet in this color, but just not this wallet and not a factory wallet. The factory leather at Coach is different. Everyone says that it's not. The core stores will sell you the 
uh, top tier leather and then the factory sells the top 30% of the top tier leather. So you could get a really good bag uh, or a good quality leather at the factory stores, um, but that's not guaranteed that it's going to be um, the top 10% like you would at a core store. Core stores are like in your standard malls that are actually a coach store, um, but a coach bag at the coach outlet store at an outlet mall, that's not the same quality as your core store bag. This next one I purchased was also, I think at the same time as the brown wallet, um, but it is a kind of uh, pocket organizer. I don't really know what coach calls them, but it's like a pocket organizer. I really want a pocket organizer from Louis Vuitton and I didn't know if I would like that style. And so I saw this at the outlet. I want to say I paid like $25 for it. I have loved it. I, it's like probably one of my favorite wallets right now, but because of it, I know now that I can buy a pocket organizer and get my full use out of it. But also I look at this and I think, okay, but I already have this. I don't need the pocket organizer. But the thing that's missing is the LV monogram. So I don't know, I'm in a dilemma. <laughs> one day i'll still get a pocket organizer you guys saw in my closet organization video i have my clear case that i keep all my um card cases in or my small leather goods in well because i switch out of my wallets a lot i have one large wallet that i keep all my cards in and then as i'm switching out i put them all back into one large wallet and I can either take that if I ever need it, like if I'm going Christmas shopping, I'll probably take my large wallet because it'll have all my cards in it, or I'll just take my essentials and put them in a card holder and leave my large wallet inside of that big case. Um, so it's kind of like an organization tool. I don't really use it as often as I would any of my other wallets. It just kind of sits there and holds all my cards in one place. But that is this wallet. It is um, another Coach wallet um, that I purchased at the factory. Um, but this one is actually a men's, men's chest pocket wallet. I could be wrong. I know it has something to do with either this piece um, or a briefcase wallet, but I love it. It has all these slots right here, all these slots on this side, all these slots right here, um, two slots on the back, and then it has this section in the middle. Um, as well as these, this um, middle compartment with the zipper. This just sits all the way in the back of my closet organizer um, and then all of my wallets sit in front of it. To continue on with the small of the good trend, but not necessarily a wallet, um, I purchased this from Coach. It is a five key ring protector. I use this for quite a long time. And it was one of the purchases I was like, I don't understand why somebody would want a key protector. It seems like it would be such a hassle. Um, and at times it can be a hassle, but I always wondered when I would watch videos, like why do people buy something like this? Um, and now that I have one, I don't know that I necessarily would say that you need it, but it is very nice and it does protect all of your things. I never have to worry about um, my technology or my interior of my bags when I have one. It was small enough that it would fit in almost all of my bags. Now that I'm used to it, I still don't know that I would go back to a regular keychain, um, but there was a transition period and I love it now, but it was an adjustment. This was a super random purchase. I don't know if I would recommend it or do it again, um, but I love it and I, I bought it with the intentions that one day I'll have an office that needs it. Um, it was also, I want to say like 10 or $15 and I just, I loved the piece. It is this leather pencil holder from Coach. I found it in Houston or Austin maybe, um, but it is just this cute little open space. I just have a fortune cookie <laughs> inside of it, um, but it's this cute little pencil holder. For a while I kept my Apple pencil inside of it, but my regular case does better with it. Um, and I have traveled putting my charging cords inside of it. I still think I would probably just put it on my desk and put my pens and pencils, which is what its intention is for. I also love um, the, the glazing that they put on this. I think it's a really pretty red. Probably reminded me of Louis Vuitton, which is probably what made me want to buy it, but I love it. I'm happy with it. So I don't know if this one would be considered a small other good, but it's definitely not a bag and it's, I, I don't know where to put it. So it's going to be put into this one, <laughs> but this is a men's coach 
I guess you'd call it a clutch, but I don't think it's defined as one. And it's not big enough to be a document holder, even though I do use it as a document holder at times. But the inside's fairly bare. I have the care card here, but you can put your, you can put any type of card you need here. Um, the story patch right here, and then the interior is fairly large. There's also some compartments here if you need to use for anything. What I have loved using it for, anytime I'm using a duffel bag, typically my key ball, I will pack all of my um, essentials, like my phone, my key, my wallet, um, or if I'm traveling, like your plane tickets and stuff, I'll put all that in here so that I can throw it into my key ball. And whenever I need those things, I can just quickly grab this and know that those quick grabs are gonna be in here. I don't have to take like multiple bags. It's one bag and then this is just like my essential quick grab. I've also gone to like at work, I've had to go to a formal event where I've had my key ball that has all of my change of clothes. And then this was able to keep all my things and hold on to for the night. Um, it's like so discreet that I can like throw it somewhere and no one's gonna really notice it or pay attention to it. You can hold it like that or like this and no one's gonna notice this side as much. It's one big slab of leather and then the glazing or sealant is so like tough. I've never babied this bag. It's like I said, I've used it majority for travel. And when I have traveled with or by car or plane, it's literally just been something I throw around when I'm using it. Um, so it's it's definitely served its purpose. I got my money's worth out of it so far and I love it. I wish I could get um, a document holder that's larger than this because certain times for events or um, meetings, I wish I just had like something larger than this that I could throw all my files in and carry it with this. Um, so that's something I'm looking for. But until then, um, I have this. So my next two items are quite controversial. It depends on how you feel about a dupe item. So the difference between a replica and a dupe, a replica will copy an item entirely. The item will try to put the designer or whatever you're replicating's name on it. So a fake Louis Vuitton will have the full pattern and then it'll say the name Louis Vuitton on it. So that's a replica. A dupe is going to have the same style or it's gonna be fully inspired by it, but it will not have the name anywhere on it, nor are they going to try and sell it as if it's like Louis Vuitton inspired. So that's the difference between it. Um, but these two products are considered dupes. These are dupes of the Louis Vuitton key pouch. Um, these are from a brand called Daisy Rose. This one still has the little tag on it, so Daisy Rose. Um, and I didn't know if I wanted to spend money on, this is what the full product, more familiar of what people would re recognize the Louis Vuitton would look like. Um, I wasn't sure if I would, if I would get my money's worth out of the Louis Vuitton key pouch. Um, they're typically like $250, I think is what the retail price is in America. Um, but if you, they're always out of stock and you have to purchase most of the time on the pre-lived market, which can go anywhere up to $450. So to me, I just was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna get that much use out of it. So I found this on Amazon at the time, they're, they're no longer on the Amazon market. Um, so I found these and I wanted to see how much I would use before I even thought about saving up or investing in a piece like that from Louis Vuitton. I don't use them like ever. The most I have used them is when I have traveled. I will put this, I connect it to the D-ring of my key ball, which a D-ring is, it's like where you connect a keychain or something in the inside of your bag. Um, you can usually put like the lock of your key in. Um, and this will hang in the inside of my bag so it's easy to find. I'll put like my charging cord or I'll put um, medicine or something. Um, but it's, it's not an essential item for me in the slightest. I've seen a lot of luxury bloggers talk about how this is like a really great starter piece if you were to want to venture into Louis Vuitton or venture into luxury period, go for it. I think just having this I don't know that it's something that I would venture towards. I, I will say they're both very nice. They both feel nice. The zipper works great. They look really pretty. Every time I have used them, somebody has said something nice about them. Um, and I've been very honest that they're not Louis Vuitton. They're a Daisy Rose product. And I, I do like Daisy Rose products. I just, I don't have the functionality for these two things in my life or in my organization. This next one is my first experience of my obsession and addiction to Fashion File. Um, 
I want to put a disclaimer and an apology to all the people that I have also gotten addicted to Fashion File, but also you're welcome. So this is, this is a Saint Laurent card holder. I will say this is probably my favorite piece of leather that I own. Um, the feel of it is probably the most luxurious that I have. Um, it is just such a soft and shiny leather. When you purchase on Fashion File, you have different criteria of where it's at or of where the quality of the product is at. Um, this one said new and it was discounted. Um, I want to say this wallet is probably $350 and I paid less than half of that. Um, so I thought it was a steal. I absolutely love it. You have one card on this side, one card on this side, and the middle compartment, which I, I'll be honest, I don't use it a lot because it's my favorite. Even though no one sees it when I wear it, I always feel fancy <laughs> when I put this on. And whether it's in my pocket or my bag or my chest coat pocket, um, it's, it's just like one of my favorite pieces. And I look forward to growing a YSL collection. There are so many pieces that I want, and until then, I will continue to hold and cherish this. This next one was a birthday gift from Hector, and because of it, I love it so much. Um, but also, I'm very wary of uh, using it. I don't want anything to happen to it. And it's also very, um, it's also very luxurious. Just everything about it, I have to be very careful with and I try not to mess with it. Um, but it is this Hermes uh, coin pouch. And if you shop on Fashion File, this item is, you'll see it a lot. Um, but I had no idea that it was going to be this small and precious. Um, it's supposed to hold coins or random knickknacks in your bag. Um, and to me, it opens up like the Harry Potter letters that talk to you. So I love it even more, but there's a little Hermes piece right there. Um, I love the condition that it's in. It kind of makes me nervous because of how thin the leather is. Um, I'm not familiar with Hermes leather. I'm, I, I'm obviously not in that caliber of let me go purchase, you know, a Birkin every two days. It just makes me nervous of how thin the leather is. So I don't like to like constantly have it in my bag rotation. Um, but the few days I do get to bring it out, I love it. What I have used it a lot for is I'll put like my charging cord inside here if I know that I'm gonna be needing it that day at some point. I've also put medicine inside of it. I just think it's like a cute little pouch that fits in almost everything. Um, and the opening and closing piece is just really cool. So I love that it was a gift from Hector and I just think that it was um, something I will probably never get rid of, so. It's so sweet. I love that it's Hermes. It's the first piece of Hermes that I have and it's like a classic um, orange from Hermes. This next piece that I have, I showed it in my last video with my quarantine bag, um, but it is my um, Chanel card holder. I purchased this um, from a pre-love website as well. I love the amount of space that it holds. The leathers are really good quality and I just love the classic simple piece that it is. I'm able to use it without thinking too much about it. I haven't been switching things out because I haven't been going anywhere. So it's probably been my wallet for like two, three months now, but I think it's, I think it's really functional and I, I get a lot of use out of it. So my next one is a, another gift from Hector. Um, it is my Prada wallet. I love it. Um, again, something I try to baby because I don't want to ever see this one have wear and tear. Um, it's in really good shape. The only thing is with my cards, it's kind of worn the leather into where the cards would be. Um, but other than that, it's stayed slim. It's not too stretched out. The uh, card slots are still in really good tact. It's a very slim bifold wallet, and I think if I were to continue buying bifold wallets, this is probably the um, direction I would go in because I, I no longer really like the bulky bifolds, but I love this, and I the quality of this leather is really awesome. Um, also, it's like a gunmetal Prada logo. I don't know if you're able to see it, um, but I just love it. I think the textured piece helps me not feel as weary about it scratching or being put in a bag or anything like that. So I love this particular piece for so many reasons. It's also one of my first higher end luxury house pieces. 
Um, so I was super excited to have something from Prada that I absolutely love. This next piece I showed in my last video as well. It is the um, Prada key holder. My friend Celeste purchased this for me on one of my birthdays. Um, she and I have an obsession and love for luxury goods. So not only does it mean a lot that somebody would purchase this for me, but it means a lot that we connect on, on that world because we know that it's superficial. We know that it's a vain piece, but we were able to understand each other on that sense and know that it's, it's just surface level, but we can talk for hours about these things. So when I opened it, I just, it meant so much to me that she would do this for me. I love this piece. I love that it zips up, which is really cool. Um, not a lot of key holders will do that. If you look at the Louis Vuitton one, which is really popular within a key holder world, um, it just buttons, which is really, it's still nice, but I love that this one zips. Um, but this holds all my keys right here. It also hides my key fob, which I like a lot. It does have the little indent from how many keys I have in here or just the bulk of my keys in here. Um, but I love it. Sometimes if I don't want to carry a lot, I'll put a, I'll put my credit card underneath here and my license. And then I'll just take this with me if I need it. Um, so I think the functionality of this is awesome. It protects so much. I have never babied this because I just knew the reality of one day it was going to get scratched or one day I was going to drop it. And besides the indent on the, in the inside with my keys, it looks almost perfect on the outside. I can't spot something that's wrong with it. So I think the quality is amazing. And now we are at the point where I get to open my birthday gift to myself. Um, this gift and this video were inspired by um, a YouTuber that I recently started to follow and I have loved his content, Will. Um, he purchased and did a haul at Coach um, and one of his briefcases that he purchased, I have been wanting for the longest time. I have no need for this briefcase, so I wasn't going to buy that. Um, but I bought something instead that was similar, at least within the same leather. So I was really excited because I knew that it was something that I would use a lot. And it would put me in the introduction of how to take care of this type of embossing, this type of leather. Um, so I'm really excited, but we're gonna open it. So it came packaged like this. Little wrap around. And the final reveal is this. It is a embossed leather pocket organizer. This feels so nice. This leather right here feels very similar to my Saint Laurent wallet. This part right here looks so pretty. I, I love the embossed leather look. I would never buy an exotic animal leather. I like responsibly sourced leather product goods. Um, I'm not like super intense about searching for that stuff. I'm not going to search for some wild animal just so I can put it on a wallet. So I love that this is embossed like this. Um, the whole inspiration as to why I love this type of leather is one of my goal bags is a YSL men's sac de jour that is embossed like this. Um, it's a lot smaller, um, a lot more detailed, and it's just one of my favorite pieces. Um, so to finally have something similar to that, I am very excited. I cannot wait to put this into my rotation and into use. Um, I wish I should have got this monogrammed because this would have been really cool with like a silver monogram. Um, but yeah, I love it. Happy birthday from me to me. Yeah, hope you guys liked it. I know it was kind of a long video. It was all about luxury goods. If you're not into it, I'm so sorry. It's a piece of my world that I absolutely love and I can dive in, talk about it for hours. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Make sure to like and comment on this video, your favorite piece. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share the video if you enjoyed it, share it to somebody you know that loves luxury goods. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm the biggest underscore boss. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Y'all have a great week. Bye guys.